So, um, I just got done watching Bullet Train, a fantastic movie. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Anybody who uh, is a 13 year old would give it a 10 out of 10. Brad Pitt's really winning the big points with the uh, teenagers. You know, most people don't grow up, so we're really, there was old people in there and they acted like they hated it and kept like walking out to take a pee. Uh, so that means it's really good for teenagers because old people hated it. Yeah. They shouldn't have even been there. I mean, it was such a bad movie that the skinwalkers were changing gender every 20 minutes. So you know it's bad. <laughs> yeah, there was some person waiting and pretending like he was waiting around not for our movie, but he totally was. And because uh, we got an earlier showing and some jihadist said it, it should be at the back, like it's the back of the bus, as if I don't deserve to watch the movie in its premiere theater room. So I asked for another ticket to the showing that's literally like stacked right on top of that showing. But they're not honest about theater room sizes, so then he complained because I was recording the theater room size because uh, they need to list that online and they don't. Um, because that pisses teenagers off too. Uh, I mean, I guess Brad Pitt, everything about his film is just saying, you know, like it's really appealing to teenagers, it's making fun of everybody's adult-like behavior and how they're crazed. I mean, it really gets into the uh, mystique of the Japanese culture, like, as though it's the greatest thing ever, You're enhancing it without acting like they're becoming super saiyans just because they're fighting with swords or something. It felt authentic, you know? I really enjoyed the alternate music cuts of, uh, I don't even remember what song now. Oh, I Need a Hero, I believe I recommended yeah, that. Yeah, I, I can't b b deny, I can't deny, I wouldn't be fair if I didn't say I was jealous of Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, I'm jealous. Um, because I wanted to make the film, but I could make my own version in the United States and I always have to center myself yeah. like, you know, he said in the film, like an Asian person does and say, everything's just a setback. I'll become a director eventually. I don't care. It shows that I have good ideas, even if I didn't voice them on camera and that I need, you know, Zen, I need to be calm Yeah. because we, well, we have to, because, oh, because that happens, but also, um, because Wow, I can't think now. Sorry. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Perfect representation of the movie. Yeah. Grinding to a dead halt suddenly, <laughs> and then, you know, just completely Yeah, and they weren't everything. afraid to grind to a halt in a conversation, have things interrupt things, you know, like it's events happening all the time. Precisely. And while I don't like any character that's cool, like a teenager would dying in a movie, it's such a heroic sacrifice, the character in question. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I don't give a shit about spoilers. I just feel like because everybody dies yeah. and doesn't die so much yeah. that you might as well, you wouldn't, he's, everybody's dead and not dead, you know what I mean? So, in a sense, like, the, everybody thinks somebody's dead in the movie or something, so. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was great. That's the point. It has plot twists. It yeah. has writing, and I didn't have to write a bunch of dialogue myself. Well, it's like... People actually came in and I said, like when we came up with this, you know, after the other movies, it's funny that in 2017, we said we're actually gonna develop these scripts and they're coming out in the order we developed them. So now, proving everything's weird, so, but that they, as well, all the way till now, the next group of people in 2022 or 2021 that are like somehow disconnected from the people before, they are able to come in and say, okay, we actually have brains still, you know, we didn't eat nothing but poop. So every part of the train is utilized, everything gets blown up, yeah. every part is a joke, it's complete. I'm so proud that it's like once again it gets into the category of yeah. like, when I envision something in my mind and I imagine the electricity or the fire or the train, they did it again and I mean, guys, are you connected to me? Are you are you feeling and yeah. seeing my thoughts through my brain when I talk to you on camera? Because don't lie to me. That's not nice. That's not part of being calm. That's not part of being zen. Well, like, they're stating, because I liked the Zendaya, her playing the, the crazy lady in the, uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm not supposed to spoil that. But anyways, <laughs> um... Yeah, it was it was uh it was like everybody was doing their thing. I don't know. Yeah, I just basically said that I wanted a movie where it proves that everybody's so crazy because I always think things through. Yeah, and like oranges, it's nice that they're representing how we're actually using oranges to clean up crime, you know? Yeah, that exactly. was nice, okay? Thank you guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I guess the final aspect of the film I talk about is just 
I thought the visuals and the amount of LED lighting was great. There was large amounts of it. It was thick. It was colorful. And for a movie for younger people, that's what you want. You don't want to heavy weigh them down with blue or brown tones. Yeah. It just was bright and colorful. It has to sell well or I'm crucifying everybody because this is a movie that I've wanted to make forever. Yeah. Yeah, it finally sets the standard for train movies again. Like, I mean, Sandra Bullock was already in a train movie. So she's coming back, being in this one. It's extra funny, you know. I just, the whole thing was great. Also, I really appreciated how women are supposed to comfort guys when they've gone through hard times and not act like they're someone's mother and controlling them, you know? Yeah, exactly. And the final part, when somebody attacks me, I always say it when they fail and they do hurt themselves, which is in this movie, you'll see it. When they're dying all over the place, I always ask them, because I just, why not? Like, are, are you sure you, you don't want anything? And they always say, get the fuck away from me and keep yeah, dying. Yeah, right. Just, just so everybody's aware. I'll, I'll even be like, ah, I mean, you're just trying to kill me, but you want a blanket? Like, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just have to mention, they did take the entire briefcase fight scene I was gonna do, so I'm gonna have to come up with some other fight scene for a movie in a train. Yeah, well, we did say yeah. that probably this movie would just be developed yes. by Brad Pitt because it's his type of movie and yeah his the briefcase scene it's just it's just the killer scene you know and you did come up with it yeah with the moves it was great i kind of choreographed them in air like how i did for this harold trotter project yeah and then you know i sort of say what i do and uh yeah it's like i'm just standing there and there's no microphones on i don't own a cell phone i'm too poor pay me um so you guys are just sort of stealing this how dead are you? Are you guys ghosts? Yeah, like, I know this is like some sort of silly end of the universe scenario, but, like, I hope you guys can rebuild your particles into being real again, because uh, daddy needs his money. <laughs> yeah.